Okay, this is Kata Smolder SPM 4 paper 1, uh, question number 8. The diagram shows the curve of y goes to 3x plus 1. We need to find the value of n. Hmm. Okay, so what can we do from the graph? We know that the x value is n and the y value is 7 to the power of n. Then we shall use this because this one will give us the coordinates, right? The coordinates of this point, n, 7 to the power n, this point is on the curve, is on the curve, y equals to 3 to the power x plus 1. Therefore, this point would uh, satisfy this uh, the equation of this curve. So whenever we see y, we replace with 7 to the power of n. Whenever we see um, x will replace with n. So we will have this one. So we need to find the value of n. Now, under the chapter of indices and logarithm, we try to change so that uh, our term would have the same base. In this case, we already have single term on both sides. However, I can't find a common uh, index that having the same base that connect these two numbers. So in this case, the only choice that we can do is introduce log. Okay, you introduce log whenever uh, the index, the law of indices is no longer applicable. So over here, introduce log base 10 on both sides. Okay, so we will have log base 10, 7 to the power n equals to log base 10 of 3 to the power n plus 1. According to law of logarithm, we can actually bring down the power to the front. So we will have n log base 10 of 7 equals to n plus 1 of log base 10 of 3. And then we use calculator. Let's use the calculator to find what is log base 10 of 7. So the log function in the calculator is log base 10. Eh? So log base 10 of 7 is 0 0.8451. Yeah? 0 0.8451. We round off to four significant figure. Cannot be less than that. Yeah? Cannot be three decimal places or two decimal places. Always go by four decimal places. And next, we will have a log base 3 on the other side. So that will be 0 0.4771. So at the same time, we multiply this one in. We will have 0 0.4771n plus 0 0.4771. Okay, next, what do we do? The end here and the end here, we can combine the term. That means we have to take 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.4771 for the end. We will have 0 0.368n equals to 0 0.4771. Therefore, n, okay, bring the 0 0.3680 across. So we take 0 0.4771 divided by the 0 0.368 just now yeah so we will have 1.296 and that is the answer for question number uh, number eight